This video is going to walk you through on how to complete your sports medicine packet on the Sportswear online platform. If you are a first year student athlete, you must create your profile. If you are a returning student athlete, you will just have to reset your password. For first year student athletes to create your account, you're going to come down here and click on join Sportswear. You're going to enter in the school ID, which is SMCM Seahawks. Hit next. You're going to enter your first name, last name, date of birth, and you're going to put in your SMCM email. Um, you're then going to go to Uh, you're then going to go down to the drop down menu here. If you are a varsity sports athlete, you're going to click on varsity sports. Or if you are a club sports athlete, you're going to click on club sports. After you've entered that information, hit next, verify your information, and hit finish. You'll then get a pop-up message. A notification is going to come to the sports medicine department at St. Mary's College of Maryland to verify your account. Once your account has been verified, you will get another email. Uh, and in that email will be a link to then create your password. If you are a returning student athlete, you do not have to create an account. All you have to do is type in your SMCM email address into the uh, link right here and then hit reset password. Your email, your email address will then be sent a link where you can reset your password and then log in to create your account. Uh, so once you have your res your password reset or your account created, you're going to come here and log in. And once you log in, you'll be taken to the main screen. So there's three steps you have to do in order to complete your sports medicine packet. First step is you have to enter your personal information into the system. You're going to come over here onto the left, click on My Info. And you're going to go through each of these pages and enter in the required information. So you come over here, fill in your general information, your first name, last name, social security, uh, social security number, what uh, grade class you are, your uh, gender of what you identify as, and your date of birth. Um, your online email and passwords are already completed, but we would request that you also put in your cell phone number. And you'll come over here, make sure you click on a sport that you play. And you can, if you play multiple, fill in all, all the ones that you do. And then click varsity or club sport from the group. Then you'll go to address. You're going to enter in the student athlete's address and cell phone number. Uh, you're then also going to have to provide two emergency contacts. For each one, you'll have to do their name, your relation to the, to the student athlete, uh, their address, and at least a home phone number. Um, if they do not have a home phone number, you could put their cell phone into the home uh, number. Um, but we ask that you try it. If you can, please provide home, work, and cell phone number. Um, and then we also would like an email address to contact them if needed. Uh, insurance would be the next one. You're going to type in the name of the insurance company who insures you, the address and phone number located on the back side of the card. Um, we're going to need the policyholder's uh, first and last name and their date of birth. And then from the front of the card, we're going to need their member ID. If it also is on the card, we'll also would like the policy number, group number, and plan. Uh, you're going to click the drop down menu, click on what type of insurance you have. Um, and then the next step is going to be to upload uh, pictures of the front and back of your insurance card. So you'll take pictures or scans of the front and the back separately. You're going to come up over here to where it says upload insurance card, uh, card. click choose file. First, select the picture or the file of your of the front side of your insurance card. Click on the um, once you click on that, the link will be here, and then you're going to hit Add, and it's going to upload the front picture here. You're going to repeat the process for the back side. Choose File, choose the file from your device of the back side of the card, and then hit Add, and then you will have both pictures of your insurance card front and back. Last section um, is the medical aspect. You can fill this in if you have the information. However, it is not required to be completed by the student athlete at this time. Uh, hit save when you are done. Uh, next is to complete the forms. So you're going to come over to the form tab here on the left. And here are all the forms you're going to have to complete. In order to complete a form, you're going to hit select and then hit open. 
Once it is open, read the form and complete all the required sections. Required sections in order for the form to be completed are highlighted in red. Please make sure that you're reading all of the blue highlighted sections. If it is applicable to you, you must complete it. Um, for example, uh, there's on this form, the red form is just the information. However, you must complete sections one, two, or three of the document uh, in order for it to be complete. All the forms will be reviewed to make sure that it is completed accurately. And if it is not, you'll be, re be required to recomplete the form. Once you have completed the form, um, make sure that you're uh, completing all pages. Sometimes they might have multiple pages, so you'll have to go to the next page in order to complete it. Once it's completed in its entirety, you're going to come up here, hit save and submit. A electronic signature section is going to come up. You're going to type in the name and hit save and submit. You will get a confirmation pop up that says the same. The form has been saved and submitted. If you do not, the form is not completed in its entirety and you're going to have to go through and make sure you have completed all sections of the form. Um, you're going to have to do this for all the pages uh, for all the forms. Uh, additionally on here, there's a signature pages for the insurance holder. So this one must be electronically signed and completed by whoever the insurance holder is for the student athletes insurance. Once you have completed all the forms, the last step is to add a scan of your physical. To do that, uh, you're going to come over here to add. You're going to uh, take a picture or a scan of the physical form document from your doctor. Um, once you have it on your device, hit choose file, select it from your device, and then come down here and you're going to type in physical. Uh, you'll then hit OK and you should get a, a, um, a pop up that says the file has been uploaded. Um, we would also request that you upload a copy of your um, COVID-19 vaccination card uh, if, uh, if you are vaccinated. Uh, so you do the same thing, hit choose file, uh, click a copy of the front and back side of your uh, vaccination card, hit OK and upload it. Once everything is done, all your sports, mass, your sports medicine packet will be reviewed by the uh, athletic training and sports medicine team and they will contact you if they need any further information.